Good day, Royal fans, and welcome back to another juicy Royal installment. Never before has the British monarchy been more under threat than now. Over the past two years, Queen Elizabeth's family has been embroiled in some of its biggest scandals to date. From Prince Andrew's close ties to convicted paedophile Jeffrey Epstein, and his car crash BBC interview to the aftermath of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to leave the firm has been shaken to its foundation. Now, in an unprecedented move, it is understood the Queen is undertaking private talks with her son and heir Prince Charles to inform him of her decision to allow her grandson, Prince William, and his wife, Duchess Kate, to take over the crown. The historic moves comes amid speculation that after 70 years on the throne, Her Majesty will abdicate and sidestep Charles, whose popularity has dropped in recent times. Sources say the Queen feels it is in the best interest of the monarchy, and the only way it will survive. King Charles III is hardly equipped by either appearance or habits to bring a breath of fresh air and reform to the monarchy, explains royal expert. William seems to understand this as the palace struggled to recover from being caught off balance and off message by the relevatory Meghan and Harry interview with Oprah Winfrey. We saw William and Kate do what they always do so well, go out and give an effortless example of how to keep calm and carry on. Irvin, the author of The Last Queen, says Megxit is no doubt the most stressful family crisis that William has so far faced and in doing so has proven his ability to rule. He is well able to handle it, as painful as it must be for him, and in Kate, he has a wife who shares his sense of duty and will always be a rock for him in turbulent times. William has long realized that he has to be the non-Harry and more and more he and Kate are the Stoics, the no-drama couple in the family are too full of drama. In fact, preparations are said to be already underway for the official announcement of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's rise to the throne, with a secret coronation ceremony set to take place on the eve of their 10th wedding anniversary on April 29th. A public celebration will be held at a later date once COVID-19 restrictions ease. Royal biographer Penny Junior agrees the Cambridges could be the ones to save the monarchy during this time. I think William and Kate will be hugely popular as king and queen, she tells New Idea. They are a thoroughly modern couple, but at the same time they're still quite traditional at heart. William is well aware that it is dangerous to be seen as a celebrity, as his mother was and the Sussexes now are. He and Kate work hard to keep their egos out of it. Penny adds the queen is particularly fond of Kate as she dutifully continues to put the royal family first. I think she sees similarities between William and Kate's relationship and her own with Prince Philip. They are both genuine love matches, and the Duke has been a constant support to the Queen, but never in competition with her. Kate shows every sign of being exactly the same. That will be crazy if it's true. Ah ha ha, and I don't think one Prince Charles will be very happy about that. But let's wait and see. It could be clickbait. I don't know for sure. Thank you for watching nonetheless, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye for now.